Here's another one the that somehow we haven't talked about yet, the new Google Pixel. Um or it's it's not the it's not the actual Google Pixel, it's a design leak of the Pixel 6, the next Pixel. There's been a couple of these floating around. They're renders, obviously, but it is a I guess it's a somewhat distinctive design as far as smartphones are concerned. Got a nod from Vin, got a nod from Will. It has co- a little bit of color on it. And rather than having your uh, typical camera running up r- running up and down in a vertical orientation on the side, instead you have this horizontal strip in like black. A, like a visor. Kind of like a visor, yeah, looking, looking sort of like Cyclops. Mm. I wonder how the case fits on this one. It's going to be interesting to try to design or to figure out how that goes. The front of the device has a not the most aggressive screen to body ratio. It looks like a flat display. In the center, it has a tiny little hole punch punch hole uh, symmetrically placed. What do you think about this design? Is it doing it for you? Is it ugly? Is it brilliant? What do you guys think? Vin? Mm, I like it. Interesting. I think I do too. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, I think so. Maybe they could have fun with the colors up top here. Right. Like an accent color. Um trying to figure out why I like it. It feels futuristic because it is a departure, but also maybe because the camera units themselves aren't bulging out. They're 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 all embedded in this particular design. Like each we're so used to each individual it's symmetry, I think, section. too. There, oh, there's a lot some of symmetry, symmetry going, going on. on. Mm, very minor branding, just the little G in the center. Mm-hmm. Uh, what else do we have for rumors around this? There might be a pro model, possibly a couple different sizes. It is going to be a bump, a bump, a hump, uh, but it's obviously flatter than... A lot of the other designs that are out there and oh here's the other key factor it's a lot more camera units than we've typically seen in pixel devices pixel devices have been a little bit stingy on the number of camera units they're going to give you where they would be implying that they can do it all in software on one camera module this could be a triple camera setup Mm. now it's funny you got a question here on android authority if it's too generic i don't think it's generic at all actually i think it might be the opposite Uh, Maybe the shapes are generic shapes, but as far as designs go, what's out there to choose from, uh, there's not a lot that looks exactly like this. Yeah. You've been a Pixel guy in the past, Will. Mm -hmm. Are you going to go back to the Pixel at some point? Yeah, I think this is refreshing. You're going to that phone? Sure. Look at you. If it's this one, why not? I mean, there's no phone out there that makes Otis look as good as the Pixel. No. The Pixel, Very natural. The Pixel making Otis look like he belongs on one of those dog shows. You know, when they march around, Vin's a big fan of that. Are you? When you go to the... Uh, Westminster. You go to the Westminster. Uh, if you had to take Otis, you would have take the cake. You win the whole thing. He's very athletic. <laughs> yeah. He no, would've. he doesn't have to be athletic, though. Well, don't they have to do an obstacle it's course? It's not much. It's not one of those agility ones. This is oh. Westminster. They just, you put on the outfit, you got the short leash, <laughs> and you will, you prance like this as you run around with him. Uh, and gotcha. then and then the judge comes over. He stands up straight, and the judge kind of grabs the tail a little bit, looks at him, looks at him, then goes to the next one. Yeah. And he would have to enter well into whatever breed it was, and then the ultimate prize goes to the best in show amongst all the different breeds. And it's all about how good of a representation that dog is of the entire breed. Mm. Uh, you can watch, what's a good one? What was the one on Netflix, Vin? Oh. For him to watch. It's quick if you want to just like learn about this thing. That you, was the whole premise of the show. No, no, no. Quick. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. Because the they did the restaurant. They did, uh, I don't know. Was it called like seven minutes or? Yeah, yeah, something like that. 45 oh, yeah. minutes or something. Yeah. It's a Netflix show. And they look at different events, like the opening of a restaurant in, in, in this one, which was probably the best episode. Yeah. It was the moments leading up to the Westminster dog show. And so they break it down. It's, it's not a long show for you to watch, about 45 minutes. And you'll know everything there is to know about this, this show. It dates back. Mm. Long, long, long time, man. This dates back. People have been participating in this thing. 
to try to have the try to win the prize. I mean, you got those crazy, you got all these crazy poodles. One of the wildest dogs in that was the Afghan. You seen that dog before, Will? I think so. I believe so. That's a that dog. The routine are to, they big dogs? It's pretty big, but the routine to groom that dog every it's shampooing, it's hair dryers, it's like a human, it's like a human hair treatment. To manage, look at the flow. Look at the flow on the one there with the glamour lighting. Uh, no, no, no. You gotta go down. Go down. Go down. Right. Go down in the left. To the left. Look at look at the hair. That's got better hair. <laughs> this could do a Pantene Pro V commercial right here. Yeah, I would like to see the. <laughs> look at the silky the hair of this. Yeah, look at this one. Comb over. <laughs> look at that. Look at that. Click that one, Will. Right there. No, up, up, up. Oh, this one. No, what? There you go, man. <laughs> they got human hairstyles. They got better hair. It's unbelievable this stuff. But anyway, in that show, one of the ones competing was this breed, and the actual routine of the grooming. Oh yeah. Oh my God. To maintain yeah, that hair like that. That's a lot. So you ain't seen nothing. You give uh, Otis a little brush. You don't have that going on. No, no. I mean, this is a, this is a whole day thing, right? Oh! And you would probably do it yourself or would you, if you own this dog? Well, if you own this dog, you got to be down for the commitment. It's not going to be feasible to have it at the groomers every day couple days or whatever you gotta be it's part of the deal man would it be offensive to shave it Ooh, wow oh. you just got you just got canceled you just got enemies in the afghan community afghan <laughs> hound community no their their hair goes with them eh? yeah. yeah all right well oh you just added another one to the a count oh jeez. yeah should we give the guy a shout out that did <laughs> that thing by the way vin this is gonna blow your mind there's a guy who I guess Kirk found on Reddit who took all the Lou Later episodes and created a search engine for any term that's ever been said on the show. You can search it. And if you want to find Will moments, all you have to do is type A, E-H. Well, what's the site? I, for, I totally forgot. I don't know. Kirk might have to yell it from down there. Yeah. We were having a blast with it. Yeah, you can look up any term we've ever said. I've seen... What's it called, Kurt? The site go later. Go later. Oh, okay, club. There you go. go. Apologies for the delay on that. Okay, you can search search e h. So this is I never say that word. Will says it. I almost said it right there. Will says it all the time. His car thing. Oh. Do it. The video and the video is a little bit goofy. Ah. Uh. I think because it's all uh, muted. Why is it all muted? It's missing the first. It's missing the A. Car at the thing, eh? That's the actual name. Is car thing. Oh, Play the nice one. You like this one, eh? <laughs> I watched the video, and the video is a little bit goofy. Just Broncos, eh? <laughs> the Bronco <laughs> has apparently been a big... <laughs> wow, you can just turn that off, eh? Yeah, you just hit the off button on it. I mean, yeah, no kidding, eh? <laughs> <laughs> that was a quiet one. <laughs> Check. Now you can, if you want to find Vin, you can put put. No, uh, no. What's it? What do you normally say? Nothing. Yeah, you have Subway, obviously. Uh, you have. We can find you there. You have chicken, I think. Rotisserie chicken. No. You have. I've seen. I don't know if I can spell that. But. What did you spell? Anyway, your, your grunt. <laughs> so, oh, him, his, <laughs> grunt. his grunt. Yeah. So, if you go to golater.club, you can, there's a search box, and, and we got to give a shout out to the individual who made it. It's just a fan of the show. He has a GitHub. He has a GitHub. Cheskel Twerksky. Twerksky. Not shout twerk. Out. Cheskel Twerksky. Yes. Shout out. And so, he put this together. You can search any term that's ever been said. There's some that are a lot. Like, if you type will, that's been said, I don't know, 400 times or maybe more. 4,000 times. And Elon, you could type Elon, you could type the word Apple, you can see exactly what gets covered on the show. 
by volume and every single clip will start with the word that you're searching for. That's wild. That's a good time. pretty cool, man. Yeah. So shout out to him. All right, next story, Anchor, uh, who, of course, is a partner on Unbox Therapy, always uh, providing really cool little gadgets for us, including, uh, I mean, some of the some of the best, most efficient chargers that are out there. And somehow they're somehow able to pack in tremendous wattage into smaller packages than uh, what the manufacturer often provides. So they're now embracing GAN 2 technology. So that brings things even smaller. Look at, so that's a 30 watt. This is the Anchor Nano 2 series. A 30 watt, a 45 watt, and a 65 watt, and they're tiny. Hmm. Like we're talking laptop charge capabilities here in, in something that's the size of many phone chargers that, that are like, I don't know, 15, 20 watts comparatively. So what they were able to do here is shrink. Um, the 30 watt model was able to shrink 59%. 59% more compact than their original 30 watt. Um, it's th three times faster than the five watt charger that Apple previously shipped with iPhones. Supports Samsung super fast. They will full speed charge a MacBook Air. And uh, of course, all the all the iPads, it's enough wattage for that. If you go up to the 45 watt they just put out, it's 34% smaller than their original 45 watt. But the coolest one for me is the 65 watt which is 58% smaller than its previous 61 watt. And so that'll charge even more laptops, including the 13 inch MacBook Pro, the one that you've been using. Hmm. Uh, and it has the fold up power prongs as well. So it's super pocketable, all thanks to GAN2 technology. It's kind of funny, they had a launch event as if they had launched like a smartphone or something. Oh, you know, wow. like, but it, wait, it's just a charger. What are you really gonna say? But they move chargers, man. They move units. Anchor is the game. Go to Amazon. Look at the volume that they that they put out there. It's, uh, you know, they're doing things. There's no mm -hmm. doubt about it. I don't have to tell you. And they're going to continue their lead here with these new products as well.